Welcome back to the last stop on the Hispanic Heritage Train. I'm Karina, and even though this is our last stop during Hispanic Heritage Month, I'm gonna continue to support Latinx-owned businesses in DFW because they're awesome, and this one in particular is my favorite. If you're driving by Oak Cliff, you just might miss it. No brick and mortar, it's a teeny weeny spot bursting with so much flavor. This is Elote San Marco. It's right in front of a grocery store here in Oak Cliff. And Rosa has been working hard, making sure that we get these Mexican authentic flavors. And I am excited to taste them. Hola. Hola. No la quiero molestar mucho, pero sí quiero que me prepare un elote para que veamos cuáles son los sabores y por qué se complementan bien la mayonesa con, la, con los taquis. Okay. Sí. Mm -hmm. Mil gracias, Rosa. Uh -huh. ¿Y cuánto tiempo tiene en los Estados Unidos? Lo que tengo aquí trabajando. ¿Se le ha hecho difícil la transición? Pues mm, sí, a la vez sí. ¿Qué usted diría que es la parte más difícil de la transición? Mm. ¿Qué es lo que más le hace falta? ¿Qué es lo que más le ha dado? A lo mejor puedes tener todo en este país, pero la compañía de ellas que es... ¿Y cuál es la parte que le ha gustado más de estar acá? Pues en sí, el trabajo que he tenido mejores posibilidades. Entiendo. Ah, oh, mil gracias. My elote is ready, but Rosa said I need salsa. So I, let me add my condiments. Time out. Woo! Sabrosita. Have no idea what it is, but I'm about to try it. Woo! Woo! Pica? No. Okay, it's not hot. Hay algo que si pica? Put some of this. This looks like Doritos, but it looks sounds like it. All right. Get some Doritos on there. A little hot sauce. All right. Que mas? Que mas le echo aquí? Ahonjoli. I don't know what that's called in English, but we're gonna find out. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Hold on. All right. <clears throat> I don't know you could do all these things with corn. This is the mixture of the mayonnaise, the cheese, the corn, the sabrosita. Still don't know what it is, but I'm gonna pick one up at my local grocery store from now on. I am so happy that I came here and met Rosa and was able to see all the hard work she puts in to make these elotes as immaculate as possible. She was just telling me her story about her transition coming from Mexico to the United States and how hard it is to be without her children and how hard she works. And like I was saying, you can drive by Oak Cliff and completely pass this place and miss it. But if you stop by and get to know the people behind these small businesses, then it'll warm your heart. And also you'll walk away with a mouth full of deliciousness. So I encourage you to stop by Elote San Marcos right here in Oak Cliff. This was a great time. And now I gotta go finish eating my corn. Thank you and good night.